In this video you're gonna learn how to inherit an existing component in Blazor with all the C sharp code and the markup as well. So we have a web page with two cards which display some text. If we look at the code, both of these cards are rendered using a component called message box. By default this card is black and white, but in case of the bottom one we added a couple of bootstrap classes to change the colors. If you were to add an another red card like that, you would have to provide the class value each time. To avoid it, you could instead create a new component that inherits the message box and assigns the class value for you. Let's have a look at the message box component. As you can see, it's a bootstrap card with a title, a message and a class parameter for changing the colors. Let's create a new component called warning message box. At the top, type in add inherits message box, which is the class we're going to inherit. This will provide your component with all the parameters and the C sharp code. That alone won't inherit everything as you may expect. If you were to use the component now, it wouldn't render any of the HTML code. In order to get that, you're going to need to render it yourself. Add a new code block. Inside it, call a method from the base class called build render tree and provide a builder value. Now the card should look same as the original. Next, you're gonna need to provide a custom class value to make it red. Add the new code block and inside it override a method called onParametersSet. Let's assign the class property. There is one problem though. If we were to modify our class parameter, we would end up erasing any value that was previously assigned from outside the component. To avoid that, instead, you can add a separate protected property. Let's go to the message box component, add a new property called default class, and make sure that it's rendered in the markup code. The reason we are adding the protected keyword is to ensure that only our derived component can access it. Now go back to the warning message box and assign the custom class values that we needed to make the card red. Now all we need to do is go to the index file make the second card use our new component and delete the class parameter since it's no longer necessary. Save your changes and run the project. And as you can see, it works just fine, but now we no longer have to provide a class parameter in order to make the card red. And we didn't have to resort to any code duplication either. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or suggestions regarding Blazor, let me know since this may affect what I'm gonna work on next.